Hey, it's performance reviews where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today I have something a little bit different. And if you've picked up on the title thumbnail or what's written on top of this box, haha, 220 volt. Uh oh. And this says Turbo Compact Phillips. There's a name we don't really see in the United States. However, they did make cleaners, or I think they still make cleaners. Um, anyways, as you know, I have an Oric Dutch Tech, which is the American version of this, but let's check out the European one. Now, this was put on eBay by a back shop owner who apparently uh, had a European couple bring their vacuum from Europe and try and use it. And this happens occasionally. Um, a friend of mine has a few vacuums in his collection also because of the exact same thing that somebody came over from Europe and thought, I'm just going to plug my vacuum cleaner in there and it's going to work. <laughs> Wrong they were. So let's check it out. Oh, I thought it was going to be white. Look at that. It's like a cool gray color. All right. And I got them fucking manual. Oh my God. I'm like a kid on Christmas opening this thing up. Uh, oh, it's like one of these multi-page manuals. Oh, all right. I'll have to scan that in somehow. So we got the manual. Uh, oh, we got the parking system in there. Oh, this original packing, this is so cool. Oh, hello. That's cool. Ah. Oh, and we got a floor tool. Okay, it has been used a little bit. That floor tool is kind of beat up. Um, but not bad. Definitely not bad. And I can clean that up. I w I'm not sure really what condition I was expecting. There, The pictures were not particularly good. Oh, my. Um, in fact, from the pictures, I thought it was white or beige. So now, oh, 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 oh. this is certainly different. Certainly different. Uh, oh boy. Let's see what's here. What's the inside look like? Ooh. Oh, no. Look at that. Oh. I wasn't expecting to have to fix this one up and clean it out, but oh. Some asshole was using this dump bag. Fucking gross um if you're not familiar with it with the oh so there's the pre-motor filter let's see what kind of condition the motor looks like it's in oh man i wasn't gonna i was not planning on taking this one apart to a turbo compact and the last scene said the tools hadn't been used but they definitely have been um well actually the crevice tool hasn't the dusting brush has yeah so the crevice tool hasn't been used the other ones have all right, so I guess he was part right. Again, I think it was just some guy who owned a vacuum shop who got this trade in and didn't know what to do with it. Oh, listen to that cord reel. Ooh, this is just cool. Let's see what condition the filter. Yeah, let's see. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna compare it to my Dutch tech. Uh, as you can see, I was expecting it to be this color, and it is a very different color. The sliders are similar, but you notice the buttons are bigger and the Dutch Tech is longer. However, when we open the tools, they are the same. So that's kind of cool. And when we open the compartments, they are the same. Um, actually, Looking at this, the Dutch Tech's longer this way, not this way. So the lid would fit on the Dutch Tech and vice versa in the front, but the uh, overall length of the cleaners is slightly different. Uh, yeah, looking at the bottoms here, it, it would appear that, like I said, it's just so, a little bit shorter, which means it will be more maneuverable, a little bit more nimble. Um, yeah. And the bumper on the Dutch Tech is like a soft rubber. This bumper is like a, it's like, it's hard plastic. That's interesting. Um, man, am I nervous about taking this thing apart? 
Uh, the thing about the Dutch Tech, when you take it apart, there's a screw right here. Uh, I don't know if there's a screw there. Hmm. I might just blow this out. We'll see what this is like. Now you're thinking, how am I gonna run a 220 machine? Well, I've got a converter box. It's not here yet, but hopefully when you see this, I've patched that in. So that's the Dutch Tech just for comparison. Let's, oh, just for fun. I'm currently awaiting HEPA bags for my Dutch Tech as well. So this machine will get HEPA bags in as well, but here's an Oso, ha ha, from the Dutch Tech. We'll just put the Oso bag in there just for fun. Um, yeah, uh, that plug is a little bit different than the Dutch Tech plug, ain't it? So let's look at the, some of the accessories. So you have the same sort of locking, unlocking mechanism. Oh. Now, I don't know what that was the sound of. Question, is the Dutch Tech hose compatible? Oh, it is compatible with the Dutch Tech. Oh, the wand rolled away. That's what that, so the parking space is on here, just fits in here, which is kind of cool. Button lock on the tool, I like that. Has this got a Vissel work markings anywhere? No Vissel work markings, though it sure looks like a Vissel work tool or a copy of one. Hmm. Man, I've got questions. Oh, okay, there's plastic inside that so that that nicely fits together. Ooh, that is neat. That. Oh, that hose is, it's stubby and cute. And it's got like silver paint here. It doesn't actually have a grounding strap there. I wonder if that silver paint was conductive and in place of that. Because of the rarity of this machine and no obvious place to actually pry it apart, I decided to give it a quick and dirty back shop service. So I just vacuumed it out, blew it out with compressed air, and wiped it down real good. Um, most of the dirt came really clean on the inside of the unit just with vacuuming it out. I was super surprised. So even though it had that cloth bag in it, it was still um, easy enough to clean. As you see, the filters just came right clean. And I ended up washing those as well. This machine really is in remarkable shape for its age. And it cleaned up pretty nicely, I thought, without having washed it on the outside. All right, it's been several weeks later, and I have this clunky box I can now plug into the wall and plug in a 220, anything really. It's rated to 3,000 watts. So, you know, it's 2,200 watt machines overseas. If I see any of them on eBay already domestic, uh, I might just pick them up. So let's talk about what else we have going on here. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about the Phillips and what I've done, what needs to be done. So I had ordered an Auric Dutch Tech Tumor style filter, and it doesn't fit my Dutch Tech. And I was just going to flip it on eBay. In fact, it's probably was up on eBay. I need to take it off. But it fits this machine like a glove. So I guess I'm going to keep it. And when I want to use this, I can pull the HEPA filter out. Um, I'm still waiting on bags. It is unfortunate, but I do not have the bag. So what I did was, again, <laughs> from the Oric Dutch Tech, I just took the Oric Dutch Tech bag and, and Caddy, the Caddy too, and just popped it in there. And I thought, well, you know, to run it around, this will work. As you saw on the bench, I cleaned it up, blew it out, gave it just a quick sur like service. It wasn't too bad. I don't think this machine really has been used a whole lot though. I mean, the hose hardly has any wear on it. And both hose ends are the same if you take them out of this handle. So that's kind of cool. So it just plugs in here. Um, here's the old filter grill. So let's turn it on and I'll share what tech. And if you didn't notice, that's super smooth. Uh, running at 50 hertz, or maybe it's running at 60 hertz, I'm not sure, but it's, it's super smooth, it's nice. It really, really sounds and feels good. Working vacuum. Oh, we have about 60 seals. And we got about 30 working. 
you know. And if I take the hose off and I do that same sort of test, we get a little bit more working, but not much. It's really not losing much through the hose. This is actually making a really decent seal. We're only losing like two inches of working vacuum through the hose. Uh, like a Mila hose, you lose something like 10 inches. So that's really, really good. Um, all the tools are right here, you know, we can, we can use them. I love the button lock on the upholstery tool. I think more companies should do that. Uh, it's just a fantastic little cleaner. We have just the smallest little dusting brush. Oh, this is a button. I didn't realize this is a button lock on it. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Cause sometimes, you know, you want to rotate it. It still works like that though. Uh, and then the crevice tool has never been used until just now. That's the first time the crevice tool has been on there. Uh, so that's, that's kind of cool having all the original accessories. And it's like a smaller Warwick Dutch deck. Uh, the power feels similar. Um, it's just very, very much the same. You know, there's not much to it. Um, if we turn it over and put it on its tumor, let's see here. We got a, uh, this actually only consumes about 1200 watts, even though it's 220, 240 volt rated, which is interesting uh, that it's not a super high wattage cleaner. And it has an economy mode right here. There's a great British TV ad uh, going through a deluxe model of one of these. And your full bag check indicator's there as well. It's just cool, super cool. Uh, I showed you last week in the update. Uh, I rebuilt this tool. And the, the metal actually protrudes a little bit more than I wanted. So I really don't want to use this on hard floor. Uh, but I did just quickly run it around my basement off camera and I was super happy with it. Let's do some pickup with it, just, just for fun. Straight suction pickup. It's so nice. It's just very nice. Well, the question is, will it run a TK-286? Let's find out. Oh my, that's like a dream. Why we never got these like this here, I don't know. This is, this is brilliant. And the way the hose swivels. God. I mean, look at this. I can just do all day long, and with the, we have that triple swivel going on, I can play hopscotch with this. I'll give you an idea. Super nice. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this first look at my Phillips. Uh, from overseas. I'm really happy with it. Uh, I can't wait to get proper bags in to actually do like a real review and do a house clean with it because it's super maneuverable. Anyway, so again, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting on Patreon uh, and have yourself a lovely day.